Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I was just about to redecorate my IKEA bookshelf and I thought I should film myself doing it with you guys. So let's get into the video. What I'm doing here is quickly dusting and wiping off the shelves before I get started. I'm just using glass cleaner for this. Bookshelves are such a good way for you to add some personality to your space. You can change it up according to the season. And you can also include some sentimental stuff in here. It's such a fun way to style your space without having to do a whole lot. What you see here is just an overlay of all the items that I will be using for my styling today. Some of them are relatively new, some I've had for some, for some years now, and some I simply picked up from around my home in areas I'm no longer using them. This bowl of succulent that you see is one of my newer purchases. I found this at home because I was actually thinking of making one similar to this. I'm actually glad I was able to find this. This is going to go on the very top shelf of the bookshelf and that's really all I'm going to be using for this particular um, shelf. I'm not going to be adding anything else here. Now we're going to move on to the next shelf and I am starting off with these two bookends that I got from JCPenney a while ago going to be putting this here and to that I will be adding some books as well. I'm going to be starting off with these ceramic books that I got from J um, Home Goods I believe. Yes, I did get these from Home Goods. They were less than $10 each. You can also find these on Z Gallery, but I was fortunate enough to find them at Home Goods for a fraction of the price. I will be adding these in between the two bookshelves and to that I will also be adding a Bible in here. This is where I say you can add some sentimental pieces to bookshelves. The Bible here we actually used for a marriage ceremony a few years ago and I thought it goes really well with the rest of the ceramic books for this shelf. ago I've had it for so long but I do believe I got it from Target and to that I will be adding a string of beaded wood to this as well let me know in the comment section if I should include this or take it off I really couldn't decide I had to take it off a few times and put it back in so let me know in the comment section if this wooded bead um, string should be included in this shelf starting off with the humans of New York book if you don't follow them on Instagram I really recommend that you do they share some incredible and inspiring stories of people from New York and around the world I'm also adding this mr. and mrs. book that I picked up for our wedding planning purposes I actually did end up using it and then this plan that this full plan that you see is from Ikea the small house from the dollar section at Target. That's all going to the next shelf. So I'm just going to layer off, layer the books and then I will be putting the clock on top. This black and white stripe clock I got from Home Goods. On to the next shelf, I'm going to be using more gold elements on this shelf. So I'm starting off with this candle holder that I got from Hobby Lobby and then I will be adding some full flowers in here. And then I have these two star metallic gold 
items that I picked up from Marshalls, those will also be included in there. And then this is actually a picture frame, I just have to get around to printing some pictures in here. But that's gonna go in here. And the last two items you see here are two sentimental pieces as well. One says Jesus leaves and the other one is just a scripture. Those will all be going on this particular shelf. And then on to the very bottom shelf, this I'm going to keep it with silver items. I'm start, starting off with a telephone, a fan, an apple, and then this bowl that is filled with blue, blue glass balls. I have to be very honest, this isn't my favorite shelf to style, only because once our furniture is back in place, you hardly even see this shelf. So I think what I'm going to be doing is get some storage box in here and so we can have our throw blankets in there. But for now, I'm going to leave it as is. And you guys, that is it for today's styling. I hope you liked it. Leave some comments down below. Let me know how you style your bookshelves. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will see you back here in my next video. I'm going to be trying to link everything down below if I can find a link to them. But like I said, most of these things are from Home Goods and Hobby Lobby. So more than likely there aren't any links for them. But if I do find similar items, I'll be sure to leave them down below. Thank you and I'll see you next Sunday for my next video. Bye.